Welcome back to my memory card ran out of storage while I was trying to record this and I'm pretty friggin' angry about that because it doesn't make a sound when it runs out. And another video about Final Mouse. How many videos oh shit. How many videos of Final Mouse do I have on this channel already? I know exactly why you came here. You are incapable of making decisions on your own and you need a second opinion to verify what you think is a stupid purchase, but you're putting that in the back of your mind and you're trying to justify it. Well, today I'm going to take advantage of that, get your view and, and actually justify or unjustify your purchase. So let's start out. So first of all, uh, I'm talking about the Starlight 12, which is Final Mouse's new mouse. Now, the reason why so many people want this thing, something that we're lacking right now in mice, basically it monopolizes a specific area of mice where it's small, ultralight, uh, 37 grams, and it's made out of metal, also wireless too. Here's another fact. It's $190. $190 for a mouse, which is why you were probably debating buying it and so was I. It's gonna be out May 1st, exclusively at finalmouse.com. So let's start with why you should buy it, why you, why you should justify your purchase. I think the strongest point I can make is that you can resell it for so, so much. Like, the Air 58 Ninja Mouse, that thing even used is still going for like 200 right now. It's crazy. So I wouldn't expect anything less from this. This, you can probably resell it for like 300 or 500. When they first started coming out where you could like watch Twitch and get keys and do spins for the mouse, someone who, someone who want a mouse actually sold it on eBay for like $5,000. It was crazy. So yeah, you're going to be getting your money back for sure if you want to resell it. Second off, uh... This is kind of a weaker reason, but it will make you play better in game. I think I've reached a point with my mouse collection that uh, each mouse I get barely makes me perform. It makes me perform different in game. I'll give it that, but it doesn't make me any perform any better or worse. Uh, I think it's just down to me that that point in the games I'm playing. Yeah, this will probably make me play better in games, but not significantly. And if you really want that, you know, every single advantage of gear, you have like a 360 hertz monitor, you have a tape measure every time to measure where your hands are, where you're sitting, you watch Ran Ron Rambo Kim to maximize each and every aspect of your game so you can perform your best. And I think the third reason is that, I mean, if you really like this hobby, why not collect it? I stopped judging people's purchases a long time ago, ever since I got into a hobby. I saw this one thing about plastic chairs, people who are in a plastic chairs. Why would you spend like $60 on a plastic chair? But then why would I spend $60 on a mouse pad? And if someone questions why you're spending 200 on a mouse, just tell them that you know where they live, you have a machete in the back of your Honda Civic, and that it's your interest. So there's nothing wrong with splooging on an interest, regardless of Final Mouse, which uh, run by the most douchey guy ever. Now here's the cons. First of all, it's $200. Uh, regardless of the hobby, $200 is $200. It's really expensive. Well, maybe if you're into keyboards. If you're into keyboards, $200 is worth like half of a GMK spacebar. But that's besides the point. If you can't afford $200, don't buy something for $200. I think that should be really obvious and simple. If you're planning on keeping it and you don't resell it, that fact kind of goes out the window and you're spending $200 on a mouse. But if you are if you just want to try it out and then resell it, I think it's perfectly fine. Second is the fact that there could be alternatives coming out soon. Like the reason why this thing is so coveted is because it's basically a monopoly. It's the only one of its kind. It's I think it's small if they're not lying about the size. It's small, it's 37 grams wireless. That's what we don't have right now, but but we could see some alternatives coming this year. Maybe like a, a Razer Viper Mini Ultimate, maybe a Glorious Model O minus wireless. So yeah, uh, this isn't your only option for now if you're looking for something in this market. And you can always get a Piranha Mouse Mods or you can always do a G305 mod with the Razer Viper Mini. You can buy kits on Etsy for like $9. And the final reason is that it's a luxury item. The fact that it's made out of magnesium, the fact that it uh, looks like someone put clip art on the top of the mouse, all goes into the fact that it's a luxury item. So if you really want to spend for that luxury or you want to get something more cost efficient, it's just down to you. So I, I know I didn't really answer your question, so let's just go over it. Uh, first main reason, you could resell it. You could resell it for so much. Second, uh, you probably play it better. Third, you're into this stuff. The cons, it's $200 if you're not planning on reselling it. There could be alternatives coming out and it's just a luxury item. I know you wanted a second opinion because that's what I would want if I came to one of these videos. So I'm going to tell you what I would do. I'm going to buy this so I can milk videos out of it because I know I can milk multiple videos out of it and I'm gonna buy it so I can resell it for like $500 or however much it's gonna go for. Yeah, $200 is a lot to me, but I think the pros outweigh the cons in this situation. Okay, that was it. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, then please subscribe. Also, uh, if you can use code AndrewPP at WPairCords.com, you can save 10% and he has new wiring and stuff, so it's really more flexible now. Thank you.